In this video, we're specifically going to be talking about how to use the infinite color panel for CS6. In the previous video, I explained how to install it, as well as why the difference is between these actions and the panel itself. So please watch that video at the end of it. It's very important. It's a continuation. And I definitely want to make sure you check it out before we continue. Okay, now that you've done that, here we go. So this, this image here is provided to us by Bella Kotak, who is my wife and wonderful fine art photographer. And I definitely should say that because this image is beautiful and I wanted to give her a little shout out there as well as um, it's a good example for this image. So in the description of the previous video or in the readme file, you will also see a link to a video about all the functions of the infinite color panel and how they work, as well as on our website, there is an education tab up top, which goes over so much on the functionality of all these tools and techniques and all that stuff. And we could be here for an hour, but what I wanna do in this video is make sure you understand what each of these buttons do in correlation to the original infinite color panel. So for example, on the typical infinite color panel, we have what is known as the create button here, which is the heart of the panel. And based on the intensity, it runs at different looks. You can see how it changes every single time. And it says light, medium, and intense. So you can see here we have a button for light, medium, and intense. So when I click on light, you'll see that it actually loads the same way, has the same functionality, and it goes through different levels of looks. If you click on medium, it replaces the intensity for medium and intense does intense the same way as these different values here. The harmonize function itself works the same way over here. It has a harmonize function located on this button here. And then accordingly, it has these buttons here. So these buttons here are actually the same thing as a shuffle button. Again, please do check out the video on all the functionality of the infinite color panel in the readme file. However, this is just to get you acquainted in where these buttons are located in equivalence to these buttons here. So the shuffle function, for example, in the curves basically shuffles the uh, results that the curves have given every time you run it. However, on the CS6, since we don't have physical icons, we have the curves, light, medium, intense shuffle buttons here. So these are just shuffle buttons, basically. It just reshuffles the look that uh, this one gave you here. Let me just go and delete that for a minute. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And if you want to reshuffle the curves here, you can do that here. But over here, you'd have to click on the shuffle button with light enabled. <clears throat> so in a way, this is actually pretty convenient. The next thing we want to talk about is these other functions, which are all located here, except for the color lookup. The color lookup, um, it works the same regardless of the intensity. So it has one shuffle button, which goes through all the color lookup looks. Um, so that only has one button. The rest of these, you don't really have to touch because these, this button here is randomizing these eight different color lookups. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Aside from that, I'm excited to see what you do with the infinite color for CS6. Um, this is something that I'm really glad we, we did. And I'm really stoked to see what you guys are going to come up with.